What's up guys, Green Bay Peyton is back and today I'm playing the Spring Equinox event for Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. Take on the picturesque par 4s of Emerald Dragon. I'm not sure how tough this will be, Emerald Dragon's par 4s are very long, so it just depends on the score I gotta get. The second hole offers us Mount Fuji in the back. Getting as close to the pin as possible. Oh, well, the there goes the grass I just threw. Uh, what's it called? We are we from the white tees? Oh, we're from the white tees, so distance shouldn't be much of an issue here at all. Mm, we can probably blast over here and then spin it back to the left. Let's see. Uh, something I do really appreciate about the fantasy courses in these games is that they stay very true to their environments like you can really tell that this is from Japan and the scenery is very it, it looks like it's from uh, Japan same thing goes with like the hot the highlands in Scotland uh, the predator in South America Greek Isles in Greece obviously uh, what's another one Central Park in 06 being from New York uh, in the I do like the attention to detail for most of them. Get down the hill. Nice. Ah, uh, this, well, this putt sucks. Oh, let's see, let's see. Get in. Nice, okay. It was tough to judge how much right I should aim it, because the green was sloping very fast. But it was downhill, so I didn't really need to worry about distance, which was pretty nice. Yeah, we can get over the trees here. There you go. Well set up drive. Uh, problem is we're caught between clubs here, so I gotta put more power on the sandwich. Oh, okay, we're close. That's good news. Oh, maybe? Oh. What a shot. I thought I had a chance at the hole. That's nicely played birdie there. Got the bir Oh yeah, shoot. What was the score I got to get? Uh so 9 I have to get a birdie on every hole besides one. I can only afford one par. The fifth hole offers a truly unique this one, I know the approach shot has to be close because the green really sucks here. Looking for just enough boost to get it where it needs to go. Come on, good spot. Nice. Up the hill, you've got to make sure you've got enough club here. Oh, I have more than enough club. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. Just gotta get up. It's went on four feet, which is nice. The problem is just the read here. Once I get it up the hill, I should be okay. Yeah, there you go. He's gonna say, just get it up. Bleh. Just get it enough, oomph, and it should be okay. Which it was, yeah. Par four eighth hole lets the player blast his. All right, winds that are back, which is nice. I know I can bless over here because I did it in, a, in an event in the past. Yeah, gotta love that one. That's enormous. All right, so that drives good. An uphill approach to an elevated green. Easy to chunk it if you're not careful. All right, I don't need too much off the shot here. Just enough. There we go. Yeah, that was beautiful. It's about the power I wanted off of it anyway. Oh, maybe. Yes! Eagle! Let's go! I didn't think that was dead on. I thought it was veering a bit to the right. Bounce its way straight in. Nice. That's huge. That gives me a lot of leeway, especially for these courses, if I happen to, like, make a mistake or anything like that. That's huge. Mm. Oh, he's hit 
this one a mile. Let's, oh, I'm caught between clubs here. That ain't good. And 92%, let's just do the same power thing with the sand wedge Looks last like time. We'll find the left side of the green. I mean, all right, I'm cool with that. This would be a fifth straight birdie. Let's try over here. Let's see. Get in. Nice. Perfect read. An ancient castle is the best. You see, normally I would be worried about this hole given it's a long distance from the black tees, but I don't think it's too bad here from the whites. Get out the stopwatch. This isn't coming down for a while. Yeah, only a nine iron. Because usually if you're hitting from the black tees, it takes a two iron to hit the green and, and two. Nice. Right on. Well, I expected it to be a bit closer than that, given the black bars, but, I mean, it's something. Barely inside the right edge, thank God. So, I gotta get an 11 and 3 holes so I can get a birdie and 2 pars. That's very nice. Something I see a lot of other Tiger Woods YouTubers do is... They play it short, like over here with the two, with the two iron. I don't get that because most of them have the power to just blast it all the way over here and then just get on the green with a pitching shot. That's the kind of shot that sends a definite message to your I mean, and I get if it's I nearly hit that bird. I wonder if you can hit the birds in this game. That'd be that'd be trippy. Oh, maybe. Oh, 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 I thought it was in. I thought the downspin would have helped it stay in the cup. Oh. I think... What? How did... I didn't even give it that much power. How did it go outside the hole? I mean, oh, well, that, that eagle definitely helps now. Because now I can get par on... All oh, right. Well, I mean, I can get par on this and be fine, which is huge, because the green on this hole absolutely sucks. So, getting par on here, that's huge. Well, not getting par. Being able to get par is huge. Uh, stay out of the bunker. Thank you. Alright, not bad. Can I flop? No, I cannot flop it. Damn it. I was really hoping I could. Anyway, pitch shot. We'll give it a little bit off, just so we can try and nail it close. Oh, there, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, that was. And tap in. Perfect, so I can par the last hole, no problem at all. Oh, and I can, I can totally hit the screen in one as well. What's a, I've gotten a hole in one from the black tees on this hole. Ah, uh, the wind's in our face though, so I just gotta give it enough power. Got some extra juice on it. Watch it fly. Oh, that's just uh, like far, really, really far. Get up, get up. Yeah, it didn't make the green, but we're very close. Something for a bit more power off that shot, but at least it's straight in. And there's your win. Got it done. That eagle on a. A change of seasons doesn't affect your play. Way to go. The eagle on whatever it was, I believe it was like hole eight or whatever. I don't remember the whole number, but that was huge. That gave me the wiggle room I needed because I even thought I was going to par 17, but birdied that as well. So that 
got me the win. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I know it's going to be, like, maybe, I think the next event's on the 25th, so it's going to be a little bit. But I'll see you all for that one.